one, go. You're listening to the Glorious House of Gains podcast. Here's your host, Robert Frank. What's going on, everybody? Robert Frank, 615, Glorious House of Gains podcast, episode 54. Today is April 3rd, 2019. And I am at the round table of testosterone, which is actually a square because there's a leaf in the middle of the table. To my right. Oh, you know what? Jimmy, you want to do the introductions here? Hang on one second. Yo, so what's going on, everybody? I'll just We're just going to keep rolling with this. Um, I'm in the building. Confess your love to Triceps. He will never let you down. Pody's here. What's up, Pody? Yo. We'll skip our special guest till Rob gets back. But, Ray, what's going on, Ray? Yo, everybody knows. It's your boy, Ray Vegas, in the building. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah. Looking so forward to tonight's episode. All right, I'm back. I had to save this fucking thing. All right, so bros and broettes in the live stream, we are a little bit late tonight because we had some technical difficulties, and we are trying to dissolve these technical dif- difficulties, and the audio that you may or may not have heard in the background was coming from my desktop computer, and I had to fix that. So I'm back. We're going to do this shit all over again. Welcome to the Glorious House Games <laughs> Podcast, episode 54. To my right, we have the most aesthetic creature in the crew. Jimmy Triceps. Man, I already told you guys, but if you confess your love to Triceps, <laughs> God damn it, he will never let you down. To his right, we have the man that steers the ship, the Pody, Anthony. What's up, Ant? He's also the host of This Week in Sports, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. I know the Mets are 5-1 and one right now or 4-1 and one right now, something like that. I know it's going to be a real glorious sports minute later on in the show. We are going to skip over our special guest right quick. And we're going to go to the man who is not as thick in the midsection, but if he bangs your daughter, she'll still need a C-section. Jacked man with a permanent tan. Ray, worldwide. What's up, Ray? Yeah, what's going on, man? Everybody in the building, let's get it, let's go! And to his left, we have a very special guest in the house. First time on the podcast. You've seen her in a couple of my videos. Uh, The first one, I believe, was Brother for Hire. And then we did the uh, 1-800 Dial-A-Booty or something like that. And you were in the last uh, two My Bookie videos ago where you were in the uh, cop outfit with MBJ. And um, who else was in that video? Why am I drawing a blank? Brittany. Brit Bob was in Brit that Bob. video as well. Yeah. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you know her from Instagram. Danny Coops in the house. Hi, yeah, Danny. Hi. Hi. All right. So we're... We're going to get to you in just a moment because we have a lot to talk to you about. We have lots to talk to you about. But (laughs) anyways, real quick, I want to say big shout out. And I'm going to get to the live stream in one moment. But I want to give a big shout out to Dominic Esposito. Does anybody at the table know who Dominic Esposito is? Um, He might be Italian. Okay. He may be Italian. Dominic Esposito is actually... The person who purchased the 15,000th thousandth shirt on robertfrank615.com. He actually bought 15,000 and 15,001. So congratulations, Dominic. That's a big number. And we've only been selling merch for like two years and change. So to be able to sling 15,000 shirts, that is a big number. And I appreciate you. Now, if you are really good... um uh, internet influencer and yep. personality. Yeah, you would have gave him the fifteen thousand shirt and the. 15, well, I didn't know it until I got an alert pop up on my. He already paid for it, and, uh, and an alert yeah. popped up, yeah. and it was like, "Congratulations, you sold fifteen thousand shirts." So, right. anyways, thank you so much, Dominic. Let's read some podcast feedback from our good buddies over at iTunes. Another five star review. We got five stars around the board, guys. We're like the Bombay, okay. Motivation, five stars, coming in from Pod0323, says, Your podcast has kept me going to the gym and getting in shape. I have always wanted the mindset to be the best. I can. And Joey, you can do whatever you put your mind to or something like that. I think there was a couple words missing, but we get the point. Thank you so much for Pod0323. Another five-star review from Raphael M 55 I started all the way from the beginning. Really cool, guys. And I have... And all the great wisdom. Joey Bag's diet talks have been my favorite. And I can't lie. I say that Ray Vegas 
slash Ray Worldwide knows how to pick the best baddies with the fatties out there. Yes, sir. Love the shirt, Jersey Shore Talk, and Random Rants. Keep it going, guys. Yeah, buddy. Thank you so much, Raphael. And last but not least, this one comes in from Gerald the Silverback, five stars, says, cannot get enough of this podcast. You guys always deliver quality entertainment. So thank you guys uh, so much. Actually, there's one more that I'll read. This one's from Jake Allison, 479. Five stars, let's go. This is for sure a top 10 podcast. Y'all are the best group of guys, no matter what they say about Jimmy. So (laughs) there you go. So... If you guys have not yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Uh, actually, yeah, on YouTube so you can hang out with us during the live stream. But also, make sure that you check us out on iTunes. Leave us a five-star review. Leave us some ratings. We love to read them each and every week. And, boys and girls, we are back on Spotify. The Pody has been up their ass for the past couple of weeks. They had us on timeout. We were being punished. And now we are back. All the episodes are live. You could go back and listen to episode 50, 51, 52, 53. And tonight is 54, and I don't think there should be a problem. So, now that we're here at the table, let's talk to Danny. Hi, Danny. How are you? Hi. I'm okay. good. All right. So, let, let's start from the beginning. Now, we know you because, or, yeah, I guess we know you because you're friends with my wife, right? Ms. Mm-hmm. Booty Jiggles. Where did you guys meet? Uh, at the gym. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I know you guys used to work out together. Do you, do you, you haven't worked out together in a while because she doesn't fucking work out. Anymore, right? Okay. She has um, to be coming with me. Yeah. Well, once she's done with her second ankle surgery, she will be going back to the gym or she's going to be facing the big D. <laughs> and that don't stand for dick. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, okay. So, tell us about yourself. The reason why we wanted to have you on, okay, is because you're like... The next summer ray, right? <laughs> you were the next, and I believe the one of the first times I met you, I think you had a summer ray shirt on. Little did yeah. you know that you are probably going to be the next summer ray, which is awesome. So I was like, you know what? I want to have Danny on, not only because you're a cool chick, you've been in a couple of videos of mine, and um, you're, you're doing big things right now. But what happens is with social media is girls on Instagram that have nice bodies, pretty girls. They're a dime a dozen these days, right? You could, if, if you're a chick that's going to show your ass on Instagram, that's 100,000 followers right there. Boom. Automatic. You could do it. Automatic. You could get it. Then there's a, another phase where you go from like, that'll last you to about half a million followers. So 100,000 to like 500,000. You could still get away with just having a nice butt and be pretty and be goofy or do whatever you have to do. But anything after that, after that 500,000... I feel like you have people have to get to know you. They have to like kind of get to kn- get a feel of like who you are. So this way, they- they're not just looking at you because they want to like masturbate to you or anything like that. They actually want to get to know you as a person and know that you have a personality and that you're funny and you're smart. Or even if you're not funny or smart, you have some sort of personality because I ain't funny or smart. And you know, people enjoy my content. So why don't you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? I mean, that's that's easy shit, right? Yeah, I mean... Right, go for it. So, basically, I actually started this whole thing just posting bikini pictures. I mean, I was on vacation, and I don't know. I mean, I just, I just started posting, and the more I posted, the more people were just reacting. Right. And I guess I started to get into, like, posting workouts and everything, because... Uh, my boyfriend's into working out, so, you know, I was just like, why not? So, and then, once it took, like, a big turnaround, I started getting, like, tens of thousands of followers. Yeah. Is it because people were, like, sharing it? Like, how, how did it start? You said you, you started taking... In order to videos. get the, the amount of followers that you have, you had to have had some kind of big share. I mean, I know you've been in a couple of my videos, but I don't yeah. really know how much that had to do with it, but you're probably getting big shares from some big pages, right? Yeah, I'm... I mean, I'm sponsored by Boutine LA, so okay. they post me a lot on their page, and they have, like, millions of followers. So. Okay, so that helps, definitely. Yeah. And anyone else? Have you ever been like on World Star or anything like that? Because I know they do like World Star Booty of the Night or something like that. Usually. Yeah, I actually don't even follow World Star, so I don't know. But okay. um, I've been posted on like big pages with like millions of followers. But I don't know. I mean, not World Star. Okay. So. There's a lot of them out there. I mean, there's. 
A lot of these pages are just... What's the matter, Ray? I'm seeing, like, you're you're choked up over there, man. No, you okay? Yeah. What's going on under the table right now? Is everything all right down there? <laughs> Did you take a couple hard AF before we started this podcast? I'm going to ask you to uh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to jump in there. Um, have you ever... Has anybody ever, like, made, like, a... Like a duplicate account of you. Like, oh, have yeah. you seen it? So you that is yeah, out there. Yeah, I had to send in my passport and everything just to get the account deleted. Yeah. Because people were DMing me and my boyfriend saying like, "Oh, this person's DMing me this. I thought it was you, but it wasn't me." Right. So. Mm, yeah. That's right. when you know you're a big deal is when people want to be you and they start stealing your shit. That's when you know that you have made some sort of impact. Where people want to be you and copy you and, and try to steal your shit. So, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that, that is big. And and again, there's catfishing is so fucking big right now. Someone is going to take all your pictures. Mm -hmm. They're going to take... People used to do that to me on, like, dating sites. Yeah. They would take all my pictures. They would take my bio. They would say where I'm from. And they would put me, like, on a dating site. And people would think that, like, they're talking to me when it really wasn't me. But... One thing that, just to rewind just a little bit, because I know we were having some technical difficulties in the beginning of the show, there were two Super Chats in the live stream that I know that I missed. Um, there were both $2 Super Chats, and both of them, I feel like we're making fun of Joey. Um, our one boy who's got the competition with Joey, and mm -hmm. he's always posting like, yo, Joey, I'm coming for you. Yeah, yeah. I, I forget the name right offhand. I apologize. Oh, we go back to that. Okay, Mike. Yeah, I, I don't know. Mike why Archetype. I don't have that. Here we go. Mike Archetype. That's right. He says, see you in July, Joseph. Parcels of pastries. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. And there was another one that I remember I saw, after and that, that is that. coming from Miguel Neary. And it was a $2 super chat to say Joe is fat. <laughs> so all the other super chats I have on my phone, and we'll be addressing them shortly. But, okay, so it started out just post. And, of course, things always start out just for fun, right? Yeah. Like, you never expected anything. Like, did you ever... And you're 20 years old, right? Mm -hmm. So I have to remember that. as um Because our show gets a little, like, X, triple X rated sometimes. And we say some, some dumb shit sometimes. But I have to remember that Danielle is 20 years old. <laughs> and, um, and her boyfriend is kind of jacked, too. So I don't want him coming looking for me either. But did you... Because I can't imagine being 20 years old and having over 100,000 followers. That's got... Like, are you getting recognized out? Are people like, yo, I follow you on Instagram? Or... Yeah. Okay. To be honest. And it's like, weird, right? Yeah, at the gym too. Like people have been asking to take pictures with me. I'm yeah. like, oh, I look crazy right now. I I joined a new gym a couple of weeks ago in Bridgewater, and one of the kids came up to me to take a picture, and he was like, "Yo, you're actually friend friends with my friend Danny." Now, when I think Danny, I automatically think of like a dude. So I'm like, Danny, I don't fucking know any Danny. I'm like. Yeah, I was like, I oh, and then you play it off. You're like, yeah, 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 no, I know. And he was like, yeah, she was in your video. And then I'm putting two and two together. And I was like, Danny, she, fuck, why am I not? And then he said the cop video. And I'm like, yes, Danielle. Okay, so but, we got it now. But to also compliment that, for my segment for Batty with a Fatty, I've actually had multiple guys who have submitted you for Batty with a Fatty. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You so know, yes. girl, people know who yeah. you is, goddamn it. <laughs> You actually were nominated as Batty with a Fatty, but you were already in the Batty with a Fatty Hall of Fame. Do you know the segment that we do at the end of our show? Oh, I think okay. you're, you're, you're getting to know it now because yeah. you actually helped us pick uh, tonight's winner. But Batty with a Fatty is a segment that we do. We uh, have the bros and broettes who are the fans of the podcast and the show. They nominate a chick on Instagram that has to have less than 100,000 followers. 100,000 is our quota, right? right? Okay. Less, less than 100,000 followers. And it has to be attractive with a nice butt. So, batty, pretty, with a fatty, <laughs> big butt. And, uh, yes, you have been nominated quite a few times. But I remember you already have a batty with a fatty, female racerback tank. Available only at yes. robertfrank615.com. So, let me get caught up on these super chats real quick. Uh, uh, Milo Gutierrez, $6.15. I wish I took a screenshot of MBJ's juicy booty when you went live on Instagram this past weekend. Also, nice pink bed sheets. <laughs> oh my God. I don't even remember going live on Instagram this week. You were probably hammered. Was I showing your ass on Instagram while you were sleeping? Oh my God, this is bad. Yo, Paulie, can I get the cameras for a minute? Yeah, I'm just. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, just a few minutes ago, prior to the show starting, 
uh, the MBJ had confided to me that their bed squeaks. <laughs> so I ran upstairs and I frolicked on the bed. Then all of a sudden, MBJ came into the bedroom. Ooh. Wait, that's my wife, man. What the fuck? That, the bed doesn't squeak anymore. Oh, fuck. MBJ, let's do it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, so. I fixed um, your bed, bro. But what? I broke your box spring. <laughs> You're a fucking <laughs> asshole. Listen, guys, our, our bed makes some squeaky noises sometimes, and it's nothing that anyone would ever notice, but MBJ notices because every little thing bothers her. The joke with her is put in a ticket. Anytime that there's anything wrong, if there's a scratch on the wall, put in a ticket, Marissa, because she'll call up the, the front office and be like, there's a scratch on my wall and I don't know how I got here. So anyways, yeah, she's very high maintenance when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to the house. Another super chat coming in from Maverick OD723. CrossFit is a joke. Please elaborate on that. Well, Danielle, you're in the fitness community. You're in the fitness world. What are your thoughts and opinions on CrossFit? Just be Cross. careful what you say and don't get booted off the show. Yeah. Just make just make sure you, you don't like it. Anything else <laughs> yeah. is good. Okay. Uh, are you a fan of CrossFit? I mean, you really. work out, you train, right? It's it's kind of goofy the shit that they do, right? Yeah. Okay, well, good. <laughs> At least I'm not the only no, one sir. that thinks that. Yeah. Uh, we we spent uh, many many years uh, trolling CrossFit. That's actually how Robert Frank got his start. But I, I feel like CrossFit doesn't really exist anymore. I mean, people out there, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I hear it come up from time to time, but nothing like it was back in the day when I first started making fun of it, like 2013, 2014. Everything was CrossFit, 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 CrossFit. Every Facebook post, every Vine, everything. Now, I don't even hear about it, so I don't even know if, if it's still in existence. Another Super Chat coming in. Let's uh, let's get these Super Chats out of the way, guys. And I appreciate each and every one of you being here tonight. Damien McCoy says, Has Ray ever considered being introduced as the Fresh Prince of motherfucking gains? Oh, shit. Damn. Well, well, well goddamn. We, I, I appreciate we that. We can incorporate that. We yeah. can. We might, might have, have to, to get a new, the, uh, a new segment here. The, the Fresh Prince uh, theme going on here and uh, Stay get ready. Sean Darson says, F the haters, hashtag Joey Bag of Gains. So, oh, wait, time out. Time out. <laughs> Joey Bag of Gains. Listen, who, who, who was that comment from? That was from Sean Darson. Sean, you listen here. You, Sean, you fucking listen to me. <laughs> I am so disgusted with Joe because I actually complimented him like two days in a row. Uh, I seen some of his Instagram photos and he was on a treadmill and he was eating right. And then this fat, Joe, you, Joe, I know, look at, Joe, look at me in my face. You <laughs> fat, yo, Joe, fuck you, yo. I, I'm tired, I'm tired of Joe cry, crying wolf. I'm tired of him saying he's going to get his life together. And yo, Joe, you're a straight disappointment. I've Damn, lost all son. faith. All confidence in... No, because I was talking to Rob prior to the show. He was. And I was like, yo, I'm pumped up about Joe. I was like, yo, he's doing this, and I seen that, and I praised him. And then Rob told me about some of the shit, and then I seen the ice cream in the fridge. I'm like, yo, Joe, I'm, I'm finished. You're, you're done. Damn. You played yourself. Yeah, he's done Dang. with you, bro. I well, listen, I mean, I love him too, but how many times can you say... This is for real this time, guys. I'm not fucking around. It's like the boy that cried wolf. It's yeah, like we're not gonna fucking weak. Yeah. Uh, I do see another super chat from Joey Bags, who opened up the pocketbooks tonight. This joker got this a This motherfucker huh? left a fifty dollars super chat. God damn, Joe. He's, he's gonna ask for it back. He said, <laughs> "Yeah, you probably will." I'd be like, "Yo, fucking PayPal me, bitch." Uh, I paid good money for this, so here's my question. We already know why Jimmy has a semi under the table. <laughs> Did you take some hard AF, yeah, bro? But, How you doing down there? You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but why does he not wear headphones on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing three people with headphones, one without. Actually, it's four with headphones. Let me, the, let me the explain something to you fucking... Well, you, Joey, in, in particular. Well, actually, why, why? let me ask you guys this question. Because I know the reason why you're supposed to wear headphones during a podcast. And I guarantee you not one of you people wearing these headphones understands why you're wearing them. But let me ask you guys, why are you wearing headphones? I wear them for the aesthetics of the podcast. That's number one. Number Copy two, that. because I feel like it, it kills any of like the background noise. And I could like hear myself talking and everything else. Like If Pody farts, I wouldn't be able to hear him. Okay. That's um, me. Why don't I wear them? Eh, I don't like the way they look. That, that's it. Okay. Jose Hugo. 
Uh, f- thank you so much, Joe. That, that's very generous of you. And uh, yeah, fifty dollars. Wow, that's a big one. Thank you. So uh, it's going to go for a couple of Wendy's five for fives. There you go. Yeah, you know how much money Joey could have spent at Wendy's for fifty dollars. <laughs> So, Jose Hugo, what's up, brother? He says, what's up, boys? Last week's episode was hilarious. Looking forward to another great show. Let's fucking go Yankees. At, uh, Hurricane Hugo. That's, our, that's my man from uh, from Twitter, Hurricane Hugo. Uh, big fan of the show. Big fan of uh But that's the disrespecting the, the, the program. It's all good, man. It's all good. So, let's get back to, to Danny here. Okay. So, Danielle... You work, uh, what do you do for work? I mean, I know what you do, but why don't you tell people what you do for work? Just so Does they she know. want to tell people what she do? Do you want to tell people what you do for work? She I mean, a- well, I work at a gym. Okay, well, that's something. Now, do you do like personal training or anything? Or do you do, are you like one of these online coaches? Like, what's your deal? It, it depends because okay. I used to. Per, like be a personal trainer at my old gym, but ever since I moved back to the gym that I'm at now, mm-hmm. I just I really haven't been training people. And plus, it's like a bodybuilding gym. So, yeah. well, which, which gym we talk? Are we talking about Diesel? Yeah. Okay, so you're you work there now, right? Yeah. Like signing people up and giving tours and shit like that. Tours? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If there is a tour to to be given, you know, how, like front desk people yeah. like show people uh, the gym. Well. I let my, and, and nothing against, listen, I love uh, Derek, I love Tuck, I love, they're, they're awesome people. I just, I couldn't do the gym anymore. And I know they're not there, they just moved, but on this show, I don't know if you know or not, well, clearly you don't know, because you don't listen to our show, but you will now. <clears throat> yeah. Um, we, we're not very fond of power lifters. People that do one set and fucking drop the fucking weight. So, yeah, with all due respect, you called it a bodybuilding gym? <laughs> yeah, that is not a, not a bodybuilding gym. gym at all. It's, no. it's, a, it's a power It's a clown gym. show is what it is. Well, yeah. It's a bunch of motherfuckers that look like shit. Fat mother... Let's just call it what it is, Danielle. And I don't want to get you in trouble. And again, Derek, if you're listening to this, talk. I love you guys to death. So Thank you so much for everything that you guys have done for me, letting me film in your gym, everything. I tried to repay. See, what happened was, let's what let's be honest was. here. Let's be honest here. Let's just be honest. But what had happened? What had happened was, is I used to manage that gym way back in the day. Before I managed that gym, I was a member of that gym since 1999. And Ray Worldwide was a member there. Oh, the, the whole crew was a member there. Then what happened was um, had a little bit of a uh, little bit of miscommunication. Anyway, went our separate ways. We came back. I started filming a bunch of videos in there, and then I'm like, you know what? These guys are really doing me a favor. Let me sign up for a year. I love the gym. I love the people. Not really knowing because what? Any time I filmed, I filmed after hours, so the gym was closed. There was no banging weights. There was no yeah. you know the the shenanigans that were going on. So I joined the gym, and. Probably within a week, Jimmy joined the gym. And didn't we kind of realize that we might have made a mistake? <laughs> Immediately, <laughs> bro. It's like, bang, With all due respect, bang, you know what I mean? Bang, bang. Just not, I get that. Not our cup of tea. It's just, I don't know. It, I don't like commercial gyms. So, right. like, it's, I don't know. It just I, fits me. Yeah. You know, you're, you're 100% because we don't like commercial gyms either. Yeah. And that was the initial interest in why we Went started back, working right. out there yeah because yeah. it wasn't it was a no holes bar spit on the floor dirty yeah let's get steroid needles in the yeah, toilet that's let's the go too. Yeah. i feel like everyone there is pretty big yeah know? it wasn't a country like club, i'm gonna get big but then it just got well let's, let's calm down with big i mean fat we'll, we'll say <laughs> no. I mean, these, listen i've been going there long enough these are they might be strong they might be able to pull 800 pounds they might be able to squat seven hundred pounds, but these are some fat motherfuckers. If your if your waist and your chest are the same, like what is it diameter? Is it, am I saying that right? There's like Jimmy, help me out here. Don't, <laughs> there's, there's like, do not put Danny on the spot. Like, no, I'm not. Danny, listen, do, not, do what you got to do. She is that, that is your gym. That, that is where that you is get her paid. Place of employment. Do All not right, let's put her on the spot. That gym. But there's yeah. only like three. I'd say like there's like two people in there that are like decent shape. Two, yeah. maybe three. I don't know. I think it's a good gym. No, it, no, it is. Fun. It's a good gym it's if, not if you're in, into that, right? So another super chat comes in. Listening tomorrow, just want to say what's up, Rose. That's from Danielle uh, Musquiz. What's up, Daniel? And uh, Danielle, Danielle or da- I'm Daniel. sorry, Danielle. We have Danielle at the table, but Danielle. Thank you, Daniel. Damien McCord, uh, super chat. 
There is a children's CrossFit studio by my old work. I fear for the future of humanity. Uh, uh, children's yeah, CrossFit. That, that is pretty bad. Yeah, children's CrossFit. Wow. Um, yeah, I won't say what I want to say. But this is a good segue to tell everybody, smash the fucking like button if you are in the live stream right now. People are like, I don't see a, a, a like button. All you have to do is just close the chat for one second, and then the, uh, the thumbs up and thumbs down will be there. If you love what we do, if you love hanging out with us, Hit the like button. Let me get back to uh, Miss Miss Coops. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so where did, so you got these followers now, mm-hmm. right? Are you like really putting like a lot of time into your social media page? Like, yeah. are you constantly obsessing on constantly. it? Constantly. Yeah. So you're worried about. Yeah, it. I, right. I'm also like in the middle of studying too, okay. which is hard. But like a lot of my time goes towards Instagram. So do you think because of the success now you're kind of hooked and you think that you're just going to keep trying to build it and see where it goes? Yeah, definitely. I'm not going to give up on like what I actually want to do, but this is like such a good, you know, just like a side. Yeah, for sure. You know. Yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah, that's um so here here's the thing. Cuz I was what I was trying to get at was like try to follow up on what you were saying, Rob, and that was basically she's at a point where and not to discredit 100,000 followers at all, because, God damn it, I can't get to 7,000 followers. <laughs> but that's besides the point, right? But my point, again, going back to what Rob was saying, there's going to be a certain point where you're going to hit a plateau. And how do you, like where are you, how are you going to get over that plateau? You know, Do you have any thoughts in your head? Are you, um, you know, where do you think you're going to take it? See, I think um, the way I kind of want to take it is, a little bit different than the rest of these, you know, Instagram models where they just, they make people pay for oh, like, right, right. you know, their booty guides and all that stuff. I personally don't believe that you should be paying for something that you can easily look up like on YouTube. You yeah. can get like a tutorial on how to do everything. So, I mean... I could just post my workouts for free and people can go look at them, you know, and people want to look like me. So there's going to be people that are like, you know, appreciative that I'm not going to make them pay for it. Yeah, no, 100 percent. I mean, everybody, listen, social media is it's still the wild, wild west. It's still there's no rules. It's no holds barred. Nobody really there's no rules of what goes on. So there are going to be people that they're going to try to hustle. They're going to try to make money off of it. They're going to try to, uh, you know, get every ounce of every penny that they could get out of some people and there are people that are like that but you also have to realize that you have to have some if if this is going to be your thing you have to have some avenue of revenue that comes in it might not be from the workouts but maybe it'll be from merch merchandise down the line make your own danny coops uh leggings to show off the booty or something like that exactly something like that and to be honest with you, I didn't start my own merch line until I had 100,000 followers. Mm-hmm. So the demand has been there since I was at 20,000. People are like, yo, when are you going to come out with shirts? When are you going to make shirts? When are you going to make tank tops? When are you going to make joggers? But I was like, I don't think I have enough yet to do that. I didn't pull the trigger on starting merch until 100,000. Yeah. So, so you're, it's an you're investment right in yourself and it's, a, it's an investment in yourself and an investment into your business. So if that's what you want to do, you have to go for it. If you, if you don't have the financial means, go see Robert Frank for a loan. So by all means, you, <laughs> you got to go ahead and get though. it done. Hey, motherfuckers talk shit about Donald Trump, okay? Let me tell you oh, something about I'm, oh, I don't want to get political. Oh, Listen, oh, I don't want to get political here. You just revealed I, it. I don't mean no, 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 no. No, listen. I, I've said in a video before, I don't give a fuck. What Donald sh- Trump eats doesn't make me shit, okay? I don't care who the fucking president is. But you happen to share some awesome news with your boy. You However, <laughs> because of Donald Trump. Let's get it. Let's go. And this new little tax law that he put in for uh, for small businesses. Robert Frank 615 saved $31,000 this year. That's yeah. right. And I did, not, I did not have to pay that in uh, taxes. So... Yeah. And now you can loan it to Danny Coops. Yeah, now I could I could I could loan you some money. Who said I need a loan? Hey, <laughs> everybody, Danny Coops everybody got needs. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. Bro. Everybody needs a loan. Check it out, though. I mean, I wouldn't put like I know you were waiting uh, till a hundred thousand or whatever. You were waiting for the time till the time was right to to put out your merch. 
But at the same time, I wouldn't actually put a number of followers on it. I, to be honest, my advice would be just to get out there and get that shit out there as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah but you have to have, you can't you do have it if you don't have attraction. Man. Why not, though? Why couldn't you just... I'm not, it's a why huge you investment. Just, sitting not, on it's you, not a huge investment. What I'm saying what? is if you put out 50 shirts, buy 50 shirts, and you sell 50 shirts... Then that's, 50, that's that's money in your pocket. I'm but not you, talking about you, going you by. You can't just go ahead and toy. create a shirt if there's no demand for your shirt. I, I guarantee you, right now she could sell some shirts. I didn't say that she yeah, can, I but mean, it all depends on branding. What kind of uh, it, fact? There's a, there's right. a lot. There's, of there's a lot of money. People, should, I'm not gonna lie, want to buy some weird things from me, so I can just. Oh, I can imagine. Listen, can imagine. listen, <laughs> listen. If I were you, if I were a young, attractive twenty year old with a glorious booty, I'd be hustling. Worn panties on the internet. Oh. No, oh. I get listen, asked that listen, so much. I'm you, not doing listen, that. It's so weird. Listen, it's weird. Listen, it is weird. <laughs> I'm not into that shit, but I've hey, seen it. I've got. I've seen a demand. Dudes want chicks to wear panties and send how, it to them so they can smell. They're warm. Because I've seen, I've seen, I, I've seen it, and I, I know people who are into weird, freaky shit like that, and there's a market for it. Ray, let's keep it real. Listen, would, would you take a pair of Danny's worn panties after a leg workout? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right. So First of all, I'm very clean. clean. All right. So, <laughs> Danny, <laughs> let's No, I don't. I, I'm not into huffing panties. We are going down. So, sure. we are going yeah, down. Listen, I, I personally bro. <laughs> am not into huffing panties. <laughs> Daniel, but there are dudes that are now, into that. Now that my wife... Has one <laughs> let's let's start asking the real questions here. All right, do you? Um, because I know some of these girls, some of these Instagram models, or people say Instagram hoes, right? You've heard that before. Yes. Now, just because we say hoes, uh, like I my my famous Ho saying on this show is a term of endearment, right? No, yeah. I, I make fun of it too, to be honest. Like the gym shark hoes, I see it all. Oh the, place. the memes, everything. Yeah, there's actually there's one of the gyms that I go to. Uh, the, the one that we mention every week, there's a bunch of Jim Shark hoes up, up in that gym. Um, but yeah, it's listen, it's because people want to be part of something. They want to be like, they they want to feel some type of yeah, way and that they're part of a crew, right? What the trend is. So. Right, right. So, with all that said, um, do you have any kind of like um, subscription service for like maybe a side Snapchat or something like that where you do uh, you do any kind of shows or anything like that? No. Uh, I don't do the the premium stuff. Everyone okay. asks me for that too. I don't do it. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. This, so this weird might be to something me. to think yeah. of. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be one of those girls, you know? So, like, yeah. oh, here's my premium page. Exactly. So you can weird. go ahead and, and be successful not going down that road. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. what I'm trying to do. Listen, I'm just here to ask the fucking question. <laughs> no, I don't want to know. Like, does Danny Coops have some kind of subscription service where we could see, uh, you know, some, some some extra stuff? That's all we need to know. Yeah. But, all the content I'm willing to show is on my page. Right. But that's it's pretty much yeah. it. And and that makes me feel good because I feel like I have like a, an older brother type feel yeah. to <laughs> our relationship. You know, I wouldn't want to see you go down that road. Yeah. But. No. So we have a boyfriend too. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's another question that we have written down here. Uh, is so I know your boyfriend. I don't know him really well, but I've known him forever. I know him since he was a little kid. Him and his brother, actually, both of his brothers. Yeah. Um, he uh, he's not super big on social media though, right? I mean, I know he's got social media, but he's not. His brother has like a modeling page, right? Yeah. Okay, but. Uh, your boyfriend does it, right? He's got an Instagram and stuff, but yeah. he's not super like into no, it. No, like he's that, not right? into the modeling. But... Gotcha. So, what does he? Uh, how does he react yeah, to he some of this walls? attention that you're getting now? And everyone asks me that question too, and it's so it it annoys me too the like responses I get from it because people are like, oh, um, you know. Why is your boyfriend letting you post this? But, like, at the end of the day, he just wants me to bring it home. One, you know, I'm, I'm doing well. He wants me to succeed. No. Two, what else? I have a bunch of reasons in my head. Um, hey, uh, spin it. Because, listen, so pretty much what you're saying is none of your goddamn business. Well, that <laughs> I put too. my stuff out there and I go home to my man at the end of the day. Exactly. He knows. He knows Every, what's Everyone up. who knows me knows I am just, like, obsessed with my boyfriend. You know, we love each other. So, Chris but, Brown, like, your shit is wrong. These 
I'm not saying she's a hoe, but these hoes is loyal, bro. Yeah. Exactly. Go, and I, he's the only Loyalty. person I've ever been with, too. So, like, you wow. know. Wow. And we've been like, together for, like, three or four years. Message. Good for you. Does it ever cause any rifts whatsoever? Uh, no. No, no. That's he's good. so has, good at has it. Has he ever? Okay. So, we know a, a good friend of the program and one of our former guests. I, I won't put her on blast right now, but one of our former guests on the Glorious House Games podcast, um, who we actually saw out in Las Vegas, um... She was uh, working the steel booth with us. If we probably just gave her away, but anyway, you know, we'll just fucking call it what it is. Our good friend Jamie Flowers. Okay, Jamie uh, was in a situation where she was married at one time. Yeah, you, know, you put her business out there like that. No, it's well, she. It, I mean, she's That's clearly true. got a new you're boyfriend. Right, she's right. posting stories of this dude That's every day. Right, so right, yeah. Right. So shout out to you, Jamie. I hope you're doing well. I hope your new man is doing well. Everything is good, right? So, uh, so here's the thing. There would be times where I, I would notice that Jamie would post the picture, a revealing picture, maybe a little too much side boob, maybe a little too much butt crack or something like that. And within maybe an hour, the post would get oh, taken yeah, down. True that. <laughs> and we'd be like, hmm, I wonder if that's Instagram taking it down or if like her man was like, yo, that's her. a little too much. She'd yeah. be like, nope. So <laughs> has there ever been a time that Jake is like, oh, Damn. Did I just put you on blast? State Farm, bro. Yeah, Jake from State Farm. Yeah, no. Let's just call him Jake from State Farm. I actually run all my posts by him before I even post them. So, oh, like, okay. if it's too much, he's like, nope. And then, like, if oh, it's good enough, you know, you. if it's something you're going to see me on the beach with, like, in a freaking bikini, that's all I post. He doesn't let me post underwear, you know. It's not, yeah. like, a lingerie deal here. Gotcha. Uh, just if I'm, you know, you So see if we me, see you out in these streets and something on your post that's something that you would wear out, out in the street. Yeah, like I'll wear those to the beach, you know. Yeah, like right. it's I'm not do I'm not bending over in front of the camera. I'm not doing anything crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm just showing you like what here's, I look like. Here's my bikini. Here's yeah. my butt. Do you That's like it? it? You Double know? tap, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Crossway two seven six chimes in real quick. Yo, uh, what's the update on Goldfang merch, Ray? Oh, damn. It's so funny that you would ask that. So just a quick drop during during the show. Knowledge just later. Um, yeah, we're running pre-sales on Gofang merchandise uh, this coming weekend before I go to Japan. Next, yo, you're you're dropping a lot of Goldfang on this podcast. You, yeah. you should start paying some <laughs> advertising, bro. <laughs> yeah, we need. Yeah, Goldfang wants to be a sponsor of this show, man. I need. Mean, yeah, free. yo, we're looking for Goldfang models, both ma- male and female. Was DM me. What's up? All right, like I said, I'm right up. Can I get some of that Goldfang money? <laughs> so. We have a, a little segment that we do on the show, Danielle, with all of our guests, and we do, it's called um, Fuck, Mary Kill. Now, assume that you were single, okay? You have no boyfriend, you have no husband, you have no relationships at all. We have three people that we are going to uh, drop on you right now. One of the three you have to marry, one of them you have to kill, one of them you have to bang, okay? Okay. The three contestants are... Brett Young, Brad Pitt, and Drake. One of them you have to fuck, one of them you have to marry, one of them you have to kill. So again, that's Brett Young, Brad Pitt, Drake. I'm assuming you know who these people are too. Yeah. Okay. So I would definitely <laughs> Her eyes lit up. She's yeah, like, yeah. I would probably marry Brad Pitt. Really? Okay. Oh, good yeah. for you. I, just, I really love him, you know. Yeah, okay. So uh, and then I would uh-oh. I know Brad Pitt is old enough to be your grandfather. Right? It's all good, though. It's Go a little ahead. weird. Do you have a grandpa? She, she's, this no, is I actually killer. don't have a grandfather. Damn. Oh, I, I said obsession. I didn't say you have a Okay. All right, who are you killing? Who are you, are you killing? killing? All right, we're marrying Brad Pitt. Let's go. Okay, I would, you know. Bang. Bang. Uh, Brett Young. And then... Dude, uh, Drake gets kill death. Drake, Yo, Drake, you get the damn yeah, Drake. Sorry. Dr- Drizzy gets the chop chops. <laughs> it's not my type. <laughs> so we have to ask, are you racist? No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're just kidding. We're just kidding. All right. So uh, another thing that we have written down here is uh, December 31st is your birthday, and that's going to be the big... Two one for you, yes. and it's like the one of the it's big time of the year too. It's almost New Year's. Time. Yeah, it's New Year's. Year's Eve. December first yeah. is so yeah. New Year's Eve. So you have like the life. ultimate birthday date. So what what does one at twenty turn twenty one do on New Year's Eve? See, I don't know because everyone's working pretty much. You know? What? Who's well, working? not everyone. You just you know. 
Well, how do you know if they're working now? I mean, it's only April 3rd. Well, because, I mean... When is New Year's fall on this year? Or coming up? Do you know? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Actually, that's a good question. But I also, you know, I wanted to go to Vegas. So we're going to actually go in uh, January instead of actually on my birthday because it's going to be packed. So. Have oh, you okay. uh, ever been to Vegas? I actually have, yeah, when I was like 15. Oh. Couldn't do anything, that obviously. Doesn't but... <laughs> it so doesn't I'll tell count. tell you what, yeah. that's one place to go for your 21st birthday. Seriously. Boy, I'll tell you what. Yeah, that is. I hope, listen, Jake, I don't mean no disrespect, but you need to stay home <laughs> for her 21st no, birthday. He's Vegas. the one that, you know, planned this whole thing. No, no, Jake, you need to stay home. <laughs> Jake. Yo, Jake, if you go to Vegas with your woman, yo, it's Jake it's, from State it's Farm. A, it's an ugly look, Jake from State Farm. I, it's not Why? a good look. Okay. See three muscles. Hopefully, hopefully Jake, bro. you nice with these hands. Oh. Not for right. me. So just, let's get back to this. Is how it goes down in Vegas. Yeah, I had a question, but I know I forgot. Let me think what it was. All right. Well, I have a question right now because I know uh, being a female. Well, I don't know being a female, but I know you are a female. <laughs> Everything I know. Being a female. No, actually, I identify as a hermit crab. As a female. Yeah. Yeah. I identify as a hermit. <laughs> so, twenty years old. A lot of booty shit on your page. Working out, bikinis. It's like, it's I good thing. I know this is going. Good thing. How many dick pics are you getting in your day? <laughs> Keep it real. Too many. There's okay. going to be so many more after this podcast. Well, listen. No. We don't, hate bros out there, we do not encourage dick pics, okay? Um, listen, I've had my share of dick oh, pics. Oh, that's what I want to ask you. Before you even answer that, because um, this is going to tie into that. Um, damn it, I just lost my train of thought again. <laughs> Well, what I can say is they are just. Uh, am I allowed to go? Like, yeah. you don't know whatever you want. We are uncensored here on the glorious. House well, of some yes. like all I gotta say is like a majority of them are finished. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Not even kidding. Holy. No, disgusting. That bros, gross. bros, bros, cut that shit out. So there's cut, like cut that shit out. Right, cut that shit out. Don't send this woman, yo. Don't. Yo, fellas, cut it out. Is there any, like, like uh, <laughs> masturbation videos or anything that people are doing? Like, yeah. sending them... Th- oh, my God. Someone Lord. actually... Disgusting. Someone actually uh, photoshopped my face on a picture <laughs> of, of like, the man, yeah. obviously, over the yeah, girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, you know, yeah. doing Bro, her, cut that shit out. People, people so are so gross. weird. It's, it's the internet. And listen, the bigger you get, the more it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And I've actually the had, like, weirder it's going to be. Celebrities, actually... Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it. I don't want to like expose them. Come on, them. expose no, no, them. Let's go. Where's House of Games? Well, I don't Let's actually, go. I don't no. know if you guys are going to know him. What's his name? Uh, Save it for TMZ, uh, man. You might be able to sell this. No. <laughs> TMZ yeah, comes me. to us. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? His name's, um, oh my god. Now, if I look at my DMs, I'll see it. Uh, something, oh, Slump God. The Slump know. God. He's some rapper. Oh, really? You might know him. What's his name? Ski Mask? Yes, yes, Ski Mask. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> his Swear music is weird, but it's dope. He sent you dick up. Oh, no, he didn't what? send me a oh. bag. I want to get back to why would Ray know him because he's a rapper? <laughs> Does that have anything to do with his skin color there? What are we talking nah, about? Nah, nah. He told me he likes rap. All right, so real quick. Did he ask you to be a video person? A what? Did he ask you to be like a video girl? Yeah, you could. You could be no, in videos. He, I think he was expecting me to like respond, but I just, I didn't answer. No, nice, you'd be nice. a video vixen. You could switch it up from country and delve into the world of hip hop. Have you guys ever watched Blue Mountain State? Yeah. Yeah, the one the one guy. Paige Kennedy? Looks like Kim. That's my boy, <laughs> Paige Kennedy. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no I don't look like Paige Kennedy. Oh. No, he's, you know. Darker skin toned. Oh, he's she got did a good that tan. Shit so <laughs> she tapped me on the shoulder and was like, "He's he's uh, <laughs> you know. he's one of them guys." Yeah. Bro, um. So what about him? He's no. DM'd he you? DMs me all the time. He just like. <laughs> you got you guys take advantage advantage of this. See how they can put you on. You no, can't. I mean, he listen, seems really nice. I've thing. actually answered him a few times. Well, yeah, you have to see. But like, okay, now that you DM me, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Angela Lazara, how are you, sweetheart? She leaves a six dollar and fifteen cent super chat. Thank you so much, Angela. She says dropping by the live stream to say hello from Canada. Love the podcast, boys. Hope to be a guest one day. Absolutely. If you're ever in Jersey, 
Come on down. Try not to forget my name this time, Rob. I am so I do always forget her name. I, I'm, name. She put me on blast. Angela, what up? Yeah, we're sorry about that. Uh, or I'm sorry about that. Another super chat comes in from. Let me not lose my train of thought here on that. Uh, suck. I think it's Suck Dolph. Uh, says, hey, Rob, I can realistically add 50 pounds to my bench press by... Can I realistically add 50 pounds to my bench press by May? I set a goal in January, but I don't know if I'm going to reach it. Any tips? Here's what I'm going to say to you, suck, Dolph. Or I, I think that's how you say it. Don't worry about adding 50 pounds to your bench. Do what you can do and make sure you do... Um, make sure you can get that shit for 15 to 20 reps. If you're not doing it, 15 to 20 reps, then uh, you probably... Or going too heavy. Focus on aesthetics. Summertime is coming up here soon. Don't worry too much about 50 pounds. Can you realistically do it? Fuck it. Why not? But just focus on looking juicy for the summer, brother. Okay, so Danielle, here's what I wanted to say. And this ties into what we were talking about. When I first started, and when I had my first big video go viral, and everything was going crazy, and my DMs were blowing up, and emails were blowing up, I was getting offers. People know this. Uh, I've said it before a million times. Ridiculousness on MTV wanted me on their show. Stone Cold Steve Austin had a, a reality show where he, I don't know if you know who he is. He's a professional or former That's professional it. wrestler. Mm-hmm. They wanted me on their show. Um, radio stations, talk shows, everything wanted to get me on and just had me in studio because I was like the big thing at the time. Mm-hmm. Take, I, I didn't so take advantage what, of any of That's what I was just, that's like the exact point I'm getting at with her merch, man. You're, that's because I was going off because you always preach that. Like, take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way right now. Don't sit on something and go, because in Rob's case, he regrets it now, not taking yeah. advantage of that. So that's why I was saying the same well, thing with the merch. I regret the opportunity of getting your face out there and getting, like, being yeah. in a position. Like, this is your first podcast, right? Mm. But... The more you grow, the more attention, the more demand, people are going to want. You're going to be going on a million podcasts. You're going to be the, going on fucking Oprah or whatever sooner or later, right? Oprah. Yeah. So, no, um, no supplement companies have reached out to you to, uh, or oh, any yeah, of these? Oh, yeah, yeah, And you don't, you don't mess with any of them? No, I do. Um, I mean, recently I was promoting uh, Live Body. It's Paige Hathaway's supplement company. Oh. Um, and then now, uh, actually, Bang reach out to me. So I can I'm, see them doing that. Bang yeah, is sure. flooded. Yeah, it's yeah. so flooded. Yeah. That's yeah. a thing, too. Um, Nobody really knows that yet, but... Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so you drop a little gem. Well, I was just going to say, this is actually a good segue. And I, I know Bang, I've had a couple of their drinks before. They're not bad. And... Uh, I don't know the live by. I know Paige Hathaway. I know. I remember I used to want to bang her like five years ago, but then I found out that she was like all airbrushed and shit. She does not look. We just saw her at the at um Arnold. the Arnold. Yeah, her butt does not look like that in real life. I don't know if you've ever seen her in person. But I've never seen her in person. Yeah, it's um yeah, that's all angles, lighting, and uh, some good airbrush going on right there, Paige Hathaway. And if I can give a big shout to all of the bang girls who slide on my DM, big shouts to y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, bang girls, uh, whatever. But anyway, summer is about two months away, guys, and I wouldn't be Robert Frank six one five if I did not let you know that you got to go over to steelsub six one five dot com. And get some fucking merch because, uh, not merch, get some subs because time is running out and you want to be juicy as fuck. You want to be at the beach this summer with your shirt off and drunk out of your mind and banging all kind of hoes. And you ain't doing that with a fucking dad bod. You are not doing that looking like Joey Bag of Donuts, goddammit. So get your ass in shape. We got fat burners. We got pre-workout. We got andros. We got dick pills. We got everything you need at steelsub615.com. The current discount code right now to save you guys some cash, of course, is RF615. But always make sure you check my Instagram bios to make sure that you're using the correct code. Um, so, yes, getting back to my point. Take advantage of every possible thing that you can. And do not, uh, don't leave anything out there because... That is one thing that I regret is not doing all of those things. It ended up working out for me in the long run because I've gotten, luckily we've stayed hot and I've gotten plenty of other opportunities, mm-hmm. but you, you never know. With social media, it's it's such a, like, it, it, it could last a month, it yeah, could last a year, it. it could last two years, you could be done mm-hmm. by, you know, people could stop giving a fuck tomorrow, you know yeah. what I mean? So you always have to take advantage. That's the good thing, though, about, you know, being a bikini model is that... 
I mean, men always want that shit. So <laughs> gonna yeah. men, men are always going to want that. But, <laughs> but like I said before, this is why we wanted to have you on so that we could kind of get your story a little bit. People kind of get to know you a little bit better so you're not just that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, people want to see that. People want to like look at your pictures and jerk off and do whatever they're going to yeah. do. But I feel like there's there's always something more when there's a little bit of a personality. They could put like a voice to the picture, something like that, because then people can relate to you. You know yeah. what I mean? So one other qu- uh, uh, little quiz that we do on this show with our guests that we have is um, we have is a how smart is Danny Coops? Now this is. Pretty easy question, but uh, well, we feel it's easy question. But being in the fitness community and being, um, you know, a, a, a fitness chick, mm-hmm. we feel like you would ace this uh, with no problem. So we came up with a question: Who is? And we're going to give you three choices. Who is Phil Heath? Is Phil Heath a rapper? Is Phil Heath a movie star? Or is Phil Heath a bodybuilder? How many seconds do I have? Oh, time's <laughs> up, bro. <laughs> All right. Um, Phil Heath. He is A, a rapper. And I B. think, here's the thing. I got to be honest. I think I just really, uh, maybe he just fell in love with you because you don't know this answer. No, I think she does. I think she's going to no, get I want answer. her not to know because I love that. Okay. Well, that just makes her special. But go ahead. <laughs> What's your answer? Rapper, um, movie star, bodybuilder. Phil Heath. Movie star? Yes! Okay. Love it. Phil Heath. Has Phil Heath ever been in a movie, ladies and gentlemen? He probably I don't think been. so. But. Okay. The reason I thought of this, Phil Heath is a bodybuilder. Okay? okay. Phil Heath has been Mr. Olympia, I think, seven or eight times, something like that. He's he just lost the this year to Sean Famous Reed. bodybuilders ever walk That's the planet. Bad, Which shows know. that you work out in not a bodybuilder gym, but a powerlifting <laughs> gym, goddammit. <laughs> don't ever call that gym a bodybuilding gym. Well, that well, a lot of people unique. in that gym, though, do that shit. Yeah. Well, for you, though. <laughs> so, Phil Heath, I just saw, is also going to be at FitCon UK, uh, not FitCon, Body Power UK, okay. which, yeah, I know. <laughs> but his, uh, people love him, and I don't know why. I, I really, he's, listen, I don't want to say anything bad about him, because he'll probably come up to my booth and want to kick my ass, but uh, not the biggest fan of, of Phil Heath. He's a little All arrogant. I know is I'm going to Body Power to smack motherfuckers. That's yeah. it. Period. Yeah, Rob Lynn Bailey, oh, you're getting your ass beat, getting motherfucker. Smacked. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, do you know Dana Lynn Bailey and Rob Lynn Bailey? Are you familiar with them? <laughs> no, I'm trying to embarrass you. No, 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 I'm not trying to embarrass you at all. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No. Um, Dana Lynn Bailey is, no. is, is she's well, you, all over Instagram. That's what talking about. I'm glad she don't know these people because guess what? These people will pollute your brain, man. Good, good that you don't know these people. You don't need to know these people. So let, let's ask shit. this question. Danny's like you, Rob. Yeah, she's her own saying, right? being and it seems like she doesn't follow and the that trends is, of everyone of else and, and just, just do does her own thing. thing. Good for her. Well, no, and, and I compliment you because that's what Rob does. Rob mm-hmm. is not influenced by other mm-hmm. influencers. Yeah. Right. He does his own thing. He doesn't look at other people's things. So that's cool. You go out and you create your own identity. So yep. big ups to you yep. for that. Yeah, that is, that is good. And well like Jimmy said, don't let other people it's probably good that you don't know these people because they will pollute your brain and then you get influenced by them and start taking their tips and and tricks and stuff like that and before you know it you're not yourself anymore you're somebody else i don't know if you know this or not i don't watch anybody shit like all these uh people that make videos online and other influencers i don't watch anyone shit i have everyone blocked where i still follow people but i can't see any of their stuff because I found myself watching videos and I'm like, oh yeah, I should do something like that. I could probably do that better. I could do this. I could do that. Yeah. I want to do my own shit, so I don't watch anything. Mm-hmm. Um, so that is good. But who do you? Because you probably check out other chicks, you know, whatever whoever your competition is or stuff like that. Who are your favorites uh, that are out there right now? Paige Hathaway is she one of them? Even though I just blew up her spot and said that her butt doesn't really look like that. <laughs> oh my god. Well. She's, I mean, I think she looks good, but she's not one of the, you know, she's a little bit different than what I kind of go for. Right. Um, but. Summer Rae? 
See, I used to be, you know, very big on Summer Rae, like, when she first started out, but she's not really much into fitness anymore, so right. she's just kind of, you know, modeling and doing... Because she's already got, like, a, you know, huge platform. She's just doing her thing now. Yeah. But, um, uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Katie Henry. Mm, no. There's some of these, like, you know, they're not as big, but there's some of these girls on Instagram that, like... I see, I'm like, wow, like, I would really love to look like that, so. Do you ever yeah. reach out to these people, like, to try to, I Um, know. I mean, actually, I've made a lot of friends through stuff. Instagram, yeah. like, all oh, these yeah. other, you know, right. girls. That's but. cool. That's good. I, I can't, I'm trying to find a way to tie in this question, because I keep wanting to bring it up, and I forgot last time, so I'm just going to throw it out there. The whole, do you post any pictures with your, with your boyfriend? Yes. You do? I do. He has his whole highlight reel, his name's in my bio, and so, I do post him. So, are you conscious of the fact that if you typically, if you start posting shit with your man, that you're probably going to start... Do you rapidly lose a ton of followers if you post a picture with him? I used to, when I had, like, a low follower count, but... Now it's just like I get so many more followers than I'm than losing, lose, so yeah. it really doesn't you know oh, yeah. doesn't really affect me. Yeah, okay. there's there's always something to the see. When I started, I me and Marissa we started doing videos together. Like yeah. I was always she wasn't in every video, but people know her from the very beginning. And what happens is is. For someone like you, there are going to be a certain percentage of guys out there that are like, oh, this chick has a man, fuck her. I, I don't want to fuck with her no more. Like, I, Even though they may find you, you could be the most beautiful yeah. girl on the planet with the nicest butt, nicest boobs, whatever. They're still going to be like, oh, I ain't got no shot. She's got a fucking man. So a lot of these big time fitness chicks, which is why you're different. You separate yourself from the yeah. rest. Is You're like, yo, I do have a man. And mm -hmm. here he is. You can see him. So that is good. And... Like I said, there is going to be a time where right now you're on this 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 incline of yeah. getting new followers, getting making new contacts, and everybody goes through it at some point or another. Mm -hmm. And then again, once that does start to slow down, you got to figure out what is making it slow down. Yeah. Is it because did I post my boyfriend three out of four pictures and people are just like, yo, I don't want to fucking see this dude anymore? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like people that post pictures of their kids or babies. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to see your fucking baby it's on fucking Instagram. It's funny you say Instagram. that, too, because people have, like, DM'd me saying, all, oh, my God, you're so hot, this, that, whatever. I, I'm in love with you, blah, blah. Yeah. And then I post a picture of my boyfriend. They're like, nobody gives a fuck. You're all <laughs> yeah. That's, that's like, what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, Same Because people are assholes. <laughs> people yes. are assholes. Yeah, they are. And, and uh, do you pay attention to all your comments? You probably get so many comments and shit that you can't keep up with them all. <laughs> no, yeah. I I do really actually look through them, though. And okay. a lot of the times I'll delete, like, the really, really? really nasty ones. Or, like, if I think I have, like, a really strong comment, like, I'll comment back. Like, the other day... Some guy was making fun of me. He was like, oh, how much attention do you really need? So I just, I was like, yo, bro, like, your gyno is out of control. Like, yeah. You need to get Troll that back. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Exactly. I mean, well, when, when Instagram used to let me do that, but now it's bullying. So I can't do what I used to do. Um, we have a super chat coming in from our man, Nino. What's up, brother? He says, awesome podcast as always. JR just signed with AEW. I did see that. Uh, Cody Rhodes actually just uh, posted that earlier today. JR, a.k.a. Jim Ross, longtime WWF, WWE, and WCW announcer, uh, is now with AEW, the new Upstart Wrestling Federation. So I am uh, excited about that. JR is, is a legend, and uh, good for him. I'm glad that he's got the job. So... Go ahead, Jim. I, I think you want to say something. Yeah, I just had a, I'm just, like, little things keep coming to my head. But I know I went to your page. I was going to your page and checking you out recently. And um, I noticed that, like, there's it's one of your more recent videos. It's just a you of, in, you know, whatever you do on, on there, right? Mm -hmm. But it, one of the, it's almost, the video almost has a million views. And it might have a million now because I haven't been back there to look at it. Um, and then I saw... After that, you kind of did something similar, and the, and it didn't get as much traction. And now, that might be right or wrong, but the, the what the point I'm getting at is: Do you does that stuff drive you nuts? Like, if one video gets, um, does it consume you? Like, because it, it, it consumes Rob, you know what I'm saying? The views. Eh, because I mean, one, it depends on the time you post it. Two, the day, and I look usually at like my stats. You right. know, you could see like. 
what day and what time, you know, most usually gets the most. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't really let it bother me. I don't really care. You know, I'm just putting out my content. I just want to share it. Well, that's good. And uh, there was something else I just had in mind that I lost. Um, Please continue to, to have that outlook of... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some uh, of my videos that are literally almost at, like, a million views. There's, like, I think it's, like, 800 There's something. There's one, yeah. I'm yeah. looking at it, I'm like, what the fuck? This and I'm like, a million well, for, views. For I'm like, hold on, I must be like... her butt. I yeah. mean, that's, it's, you should be getting 10 million. No, no, but no, yeah. yeah. That, is, that is a huge Besides number. Besides that, like, I'm like, wow, I reached, like, almost a million people. Why don't I have that many followers? Well, yeah, do not do not become obsessed with stats and analytics like Rob. Please. You have no, no, no. Not no. Listen, I've, reached, I've reached already. Like I saw it on the thing today. I was looking at it like two million people, and I was like, yeah. damn, I only got one hundred thirty-three thousand followers. Like shit, what am I doing wrong? Well, a lot of it comes from your reach and all that. Is the amount of some dude might have watched your video twenty times, yeah. and you, we don't want to know what he did oh while, in that God. twenty times. Uh, so that's that. There's a lot of views that come in from the Explore page where people check it out. Yeah. And different platforms have different um, time frames of what they consider to be a view. Instagram, I believe, is three seconds. So if someone just watches your video for three seconds, someone could watch your video for four seconds and be like, oh, fuck this bitch. I don't mm -hmm. want to see this anymore. And, and leave. You still get credit for a view. Yeah. Where YouTube is a little bit different. You I have to watch. That. Yeah. Do you have a YouTube channel as well? I do. Or are you just doing the Instagram thing? Yeah, right just now? for Instagram for right now because I don't really have like a nice camera to do with. You know, but you don't, I do well, everything on my iPhone. Really? You don't have to do it. Yeah, you don't have to do anything crazy with. That, that is so overrated. Quality of content will always be quality of quality. Mm -hmm. Like all these motherfuckers, like these vlog channels that have all these super duper fucking cameras and all the, uh, the what do they call it, the drones and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that's cool. Like, but you don't necessarily. Again, you don't, need, sure. you don't need all that stuff. Yeah. But um, I would suggest definitely That's getting on point. other platforms. Rob always mm -hmm. preaches that if you if you start one, you should try to kind of start them all and um, grow them all at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I noticed Facebook is getting big now too. Oh, you have a Facebook? I Facebook. do. Do you have a Snapchat? I don't really use. Uh, yeah, I have a Snapchat, it's but it's, public? it's private. Okay. Pretty much. Well, it's not private, but I keep it private. You know, gotcha. I kind of yeah. try and filter it out. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah, I always suggest anyone that's going to be new with this and doing their thing and trying to grow, grow all your platforms together. The mistake I made is doing Instagram first and I was like, oh, let me get my Facebook up. Oh, boom. Okay. Let me get my YouTube up. Oh, now I want to get my Twitter up mm -hmm. and I'm starting slowly. But right now I'm telling you, I say this every week. Twitter is my favorite fuck. I don't even fuck me with too. Instagram anymore. Twitter, Twitter is my is, jam, bro. Twitter is so funny. Yeah. You just you get just a bunch of freaking people on there that just are absolutely a mess. Do you, you post the it's same kind so of funny. content on there? I don't post on okay, Twitter. Okay. I just retweet stuff. You just gotcha. retweets? Yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know. I just yeah. retweet stuff, gotcha. but I don't post on it. Damien McCoy says, Rob, if you're ever in the Denver area, let me know. Damien, I definitely will, brother, and I appreciate all the uh, super chats. And I appreciate every super chat of that as chimed in tonight. We appreciate you uh, so, so much. And I'm sorry that I can't keep up with the live stream as much as I normally do. But we do have a, a special guest in the house. So, Ray Worldwide. Uh, actually, before we get to Ray, Pody, I know we have a big sports minute. I wanted to get to this because I know, well, I hope that you will mention the uh, New York I Mets. Um, are I'm you not going to mention the Mets? God damn it. All right. Well, Pody, we'll have to figure it out. Or we'll have to wait and see. So, ladies and gentlemen, the host of This Week in Sports has a sports minute for your ass. And here he is. I gave him mine. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This will take about a minute or two. Just bear with me. Uh, I didn't have any Met content, Rob, but I will throw it out there. Mets Thank won you. again tonight. Yes. DeGrom is on fire. He had a home run and 14 strikeouts. So crazy, man. They were playing the Marlins. <laughs> just true. Just That's saying. True. Just saying. And they started 12-2 and two last year, so long ways to go. But they are doing better than the Yankees. Okay, let's get this thing started. We'll talk first. Uh, keep... Keep it in the baseball realm. Uh, Bryce Harper, he made his return last night to Washington. He's now on the Phillies, if you didn't know. He got heavily booed in his first couple at-bats. He struck out facing Max Scherzer. And then uh, he got three more hits in his next couple at-bats, including an eighth-inning bomb over 450 feet. And the Phillies got the last left. They won that 8-2. to two. And they are the last remaining undefeated team in baseball. 
Uh, Zach Granke, next up, he did something interesting last night. For those of us on the East Coast, might have missed it because those games come on hella late. He struck out 10 batters, and he also hit two home runs. Pitcher hitting two home runs. That is uh, only the second time that has happened in the last 45 years. Madison Bumgarner, Holy Mad Bum, did that in uh, 2017 on opening day. And uh, so that's your baseball right there. Wait, um, so who did it this year? Zach Greinke. He did Zach it last Ranke night. Did it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And who's he pitching for now? Diamondbacks. Okay. All right. Yes. Good for him. Uh, I, yeah. I, I was just going to say, I know that it, years ago he used to battle some kind of like nasty anxiety, yes. right? which is why yes. he didn't go yes. to the yes. Yankees. Uh, possibly, yeah. He, okay. pitch, he used to pitch small market Royals yep. Um, yep. back when he won the Cy Young there. Yep. But yeah, he, he had some weird demons he'd been battling for a long time. Gotcha. Uh, we'll talk basketball now. Russell Wilson, he made some history last night as well. He became just the second player in history, in NBA history, to have a 2020-20 triple-double. So that wow. is 20 points, 20 rebounds, and 20 assists. Jesus. Only Wilt Chamberlain did that, and that was 1968, I believe. And then college basketball, the Final Four is set. A lot of upsets over the weekend. We had Duke losing. We had North Carolina losing. Kentucky lost. So we're down to the final four teams. We've got Virginia, Texas Tech, Auburn, and the last team would be Michigan State. And Virginia is the favorite there to, uh, to win it all going forward. Those games will take place on Saturday at about 6 o'clock and then like 9 o'clock. And then the championship game will be on Monday. So um, long odds are Auburn, and I, I like the odds there, so uh, I, I would take those odds. I don't think Virginia is going to pull it out, and most likely it will be Michigan State. So you heard it here first. Uh, what else? Um, talk football now real quick. We'll try to wrap this thing up. Russell Wilson, um, we're, we're inside a month to the NFL draft, and Russell Wilson, we all know what, what a great quarterback he is. Won a Super Bowl, obviously five-time Pro Bowler. He is heading into the final year of his contract, and he has given the Seahawks a deadline of April 15th, which is their first day of workout. So he wants a new contract. And we know the trendy thing now is to sit out. We saw Le'Veon Bell do that. Uh, they will probably get a deal done because he is their franchise. So just keep an eye on that. The ball is now in the Seahawks court. And then finally, the Alliance of American Football League, the upstart league that, was, um, that just started weeks ago uh, unfortunately they have ceased uh, all football operations they ran out of money a couple weeks ago or they were about to run out of money and they had the carolina hurricanes owner uh tom dundon i believe he uh came in with an influx of cash like 250 million he pledged wow. and then um so he spent about 70 mil of that so far <laughs> and uh and he said yeah not happening so he he decided to pull the plug because he he became like the majority <laughs> holder holder of yeah. this. So he makes all the decisions now, and he goes against every everything the co-founders have said. They were against him ceasing operations, but he's got all the capital, and he said we're shutting it down. They're eight weeks into a ten week season, and unfortunately, they're about they to like hit the playoffs or something. Yeah, right? and they were about to have their games, I believe, this weekend on CBS, and wow. Johnny Manziel is now in this oh, league, shit. so he would have been on CBS wow. this weekend. They would have had some good ratings. <laughs> so yeah, that's unfortunate for them. Next up is the XFL. That's Vince McMahon's league. They're restarting, rebooting that next wow. week. He just really? cashed out about 300 mil of his WWE stock, so he's got all the capital in the world. But we'll see if, if that can, can make it. But it doesn't seem like any of these upstart leagues can, can go toe-to-toe with the NFL. Oh, man, it's too dominant. Yep. Uh, that'll do it. All right. Sports well, Minute. Thank I'm you. the Pody. Out. All right. Thank you so much. And, and, again, you guys can check out the Pody's podcast this week in sports. Make sure you head over to iTunes. Give that man a five-star review. Leave him a comment. Let him know that you listen to the Glor- Glorious House of Games podcast. And, uh... Yeah, big big fan of the uh, of this week in sports. I love it. Ray, 
Uh, we have Batty with the Fatty, which our special guest, Danny Coops, helped you pick out tonight. Yes, sir. Let's get to that segment first. I do have two more uh, questions that I want to ask Danielle before we wrap up the show. Philly's but awesome. we do have a quick super chat coming in from Jman18501, who says, Hey, Robert Frank, huge fan of the podcast. Always listen to it while I'm driving to college. Recommend it to the bros as well. Gains a clock. Thank you, J-Man. We appreciate that so much and uh, for hanging out with us. Robert Altman. What's up, Robert? He says, RF615, we the friends of the show say let's go. If you say let's go, smash that motherfucking like button. Mods, tell everybody in the goddamn live stream, smash the goddamn like button. If you love our guest tonight, Danny Coops. If you love uh, Jimmy Triceps, Ray Worldwide, The Pody, and Robert Frank. And two missing bros, Joey Bag of Donuts and Vinny Bag of Chips tonight. Smash the fucking like button. Ray Worldwide, I know you have a baddie because Danny Coops helped you pick it. Yeah, yeah. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the moment you've all been waiting for, Ray Worldwide's baddie with a fatty of the week. Yeah. Take that, take that. Let's get it, girl. Who you got, Ray? All right, so I just want to throw in another filler out there. So I feel like I say this every week. God damn, bros, this week. I showed Danny some of the, the nominees this week. It was a ugly, ugly, ugly look. That's all Ray was Let's, saying is bro, how nasty these bro, bitches were. That one you guys were, were not bad. That's messed up. I, 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 listen, I, pimply butts. Oh. Um... Yeah, we don't the, take no pen. Well, who's the winner? Let's right, cut to it the was a, here. Listen, Buttony. It was a ugly, ugly look this week. So, um, from the ones that I was able to scream, I think some of you, you bros, actually try to clown me and and play me because there's no way you can actually think that some of your nominees people got some weird tastes, man. <laughs> Just a little, a little, who we got? Bro. All right. So this week we're going to showcase. Ma- matter of fact, I'm going to pass this over to Danny. She's she's going to announce this week's winner. Who we got, Danny? Who is this week's baddie with a fatty of the week? Go ahead. Shout her out. All right. So it is Abby underscore Leech 10. Abby. So that's Abby. Abby. A-B-B-Y underscore L-E-A-C-H 10. So Abby underscore Leech 10. You are this week's Ray Vegas' baddie with a fatty of the week. Please, please, please reach out to us. DM me, Rob, one of the bros. Um, yeah, one of you bros let Abby know that she's this week's winner to claim her Razorback tank. And last week's winner actually did reach out to me. She was like, I heard I won a T. And so, um, yeah. yeah, big big shouts to her. But we, we, we have to get a correspondence in order to send you some. Uh, we we you still need your address last week's Batty with a Fatty. But, uh, yeah, so Abby Leach, I'm checking out some of her pictures right now. Uh, she's got 10.9 thousand followers, so just under 11k. Um, definitely a pretty hot chick. Definitely, definitely has a fatty, and I think you picked a good one this week, right? So yeah, she's she, she's one of those girls. She was she was like girl next door. Cute. Yeah, she looks like and the she, girl next door. And she but, just had like yeah. the right amount of booty. Somebody sent me a couple of girls that had some big old giant booties, but everything else wasn't in order. So gotcha. bros, please keep in mind that. Everything, the whole picture's got to be in order. Right. Okay. It's not about the fattest butt. It's about the whole presentation. So, Abby Leach, you are this week's Ray Worldwide and Danny Coops, Batty with a Fatty of the Week. Make sure you contact one of the bros. This way we can get your address and we will send you out a female racerback tank available only at robertfrank615.com. And we will put you in the Batty with a Fatty Hall of Fame. So, Danny Coops, these are the co- uh, i got a couple more questions for you, and then we will wrap this show up. However, first, things first. Speaking of butts. Okay. Now. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Building a butt. Okay? Because we asked females. We, we've had Jamie Flowers on. We've had uh, Marjan Sadapur, Baddest XO. She was on the show. And everybody, uh, you know, here's the thing. You have all these Instagram models out there. You got all these Instagram hoes out there that have these glorious booties, these big, giant, fat butts that are just marvelous, right? Mm -hmm. And everybody is trying to tell you that it's gym built. 
I built this booty in the gym. I built this booty in the gym. I do squats every day. I do lunges. I do this. I do that. They never credit one ounce to genetics that they were just born with that. Like Marissa, MBJ, that bitch don't work out. She fucking just has a fat butt and that is it. This is a funny topic. Yeah, it is a very funny topic. Well, and it's serious because for someone that's in the industry, someone that does this for a living, and that is something that you showcase uh, most often in your videos, we want to know from you, is building a butt something, I mean, can you take a flat pancake ass? Like, what did Ray say? What would you say? Chinese girls have these fucking pancake oh flat God. butts? <laughs> Isn't that what you said? Yes, sir. Weren't you banging a Chinese chick a couple of years ago? Oh, God. What's her name? Konnichiwa? No, I'm kidding. So, anyways, um, can you take someone that just has no structure at all to have a butt, flat as a fucking pancake, and build this monster bubble butt that just people want to eat? And do you have to eat cornbread? Yeah. And do you- <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> what a weird question that is. I don't want to say it can't be done. Okay. But it is so much harder, like, when you got nothing. When you, you know? got nothing to work with. Yeah, okay. exactly. Like, and I'm not going to lie. I've actually said it a few times before. Like, I did have a big butt, you know. Like, it, I do have a big butt genetically, right? Mm-hmm. But I just, I built it up, you know. I- so you didn't start from the bottom. You had a head start. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, I did, and I mean, and it's not to discredit people who do have big butts, and then you know they you know reshape their butt because if you if you're not working on it, it just look from the back, it looks like you know like a box. Yeah, so, right. I mean, you still got to work. <laughs> now you hard. mentioned something when we were doing that video, that cop video. Uh, I guess it was back in January when we were you know I was we were doing the you guys were in your cop outfits and shit. You said something about. Marissa had under under butt or oh, something. Yes. What the fuck is that? Explain so that to me. So she has like you know the, the her butt under looks cheek. like a heart. Yeah. yeah, she's got the under cheek. You know, under um, cheek. That's it. Yeah. I, I was calling it under butt. <laughs> so I mean, I don't know. I just it just makes the butt look better. Yeah. You know, when not, you got so is that when like the cheek like separates firm... from the thigh? Right. It's like, yeah. It, yeah. Okay. Exactly. I think from your and under it just thigh, looks cause... like a like. You know, it's just there. It's I totally firm. agree, because when I was upstairs on his bed you earlier and his freak. wife came in, she bent over the bed and I was just like, oh, I see the under booty that Rob's <laughs> talking about. Yeah. So if you heard a little sounds, I, I smacked it and she told me to get out the room, so. Mm-hmm. Like, a butt can look good without that, but, I mean, it's pretty much the goal, you know? You want to yeah. get that. Okay, so what you're saying is, and just so we have this. We are we have this, brothers, right? We are, yes. Yeah, but not but I mean, Marissa is not one of them. <laughs> Do you know what Eskimo brothers are, Danielle? <laughs> She's like, no. Okay, Eskimo brothers is a urban dictionary term for two bros, two guys like me and Ray or me and Jimmy or me and Pody, who have had sex with the same girl. So maybe not at the same time, but maybe I was dating some chick and then years later, Ray ended up dating the same chick. Okay. And if you have had sex with the same girl, you guys are considered Eskimo brothers. So mm-hmm. me and Ray have had that um, happen on quite a few occasions. So we are Eskimo <laughs> brothers. But anyway, uh, Danielle's like, well, I don't need Danny, to what you it, Danny, do you think that would be crossing up. the line if I thought about having relations with Rob's wife later on? Oh, God. This we guy. thought about it and did something is two different things. So, yes, I'm able to think about it. <laughs> no, no, no. Man, that's just weird. That is weird. Let, let me get to two super chats before my last question for Danielle. Damien McCoy, uh, $6.15. Thank you again, Damien. He says, I'm definitely going to have to re-listen to the podcast later. I've missed at least 60% of it. That is okay. Make sure you check us out uh, either on YouTube or, or listen on iTunes, SoundCloud, wherever. We are here for you, brother. And Matthew Nazario, uh, super chat, $5 dono. Thank you so much. Says, hard to focus here at work with all the ass talk going on. So appreciate it, guys. So, hey, we're trying. Hey. We we have we have the, the next, I don't want to say the next Summer Ray, because first of all, not being weird, I think you're more attractive than Summer Ray. I think you have a, 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 a you. more glorious booty than Summer Ray. Thank you. Summer Ray just, she, see the thing with Summer Ray, I think she has like the it factor. You know, like there's just some people out there that are like, when you look at them, yeah. She's not the hottest chick. She's not the... She doesn't have the best... Like, I think her butt is actually kind of weird. 
It's like long. She yeah. has long butt. Mm-hmm. She doesn't have like. And she definitely, butt. it's not as big as it used to be when she was first starting out. Yeah. Well, she's getting older now, and That's she's true. probably eating a bunch of fucking Burger King and shit. <laughs> and uh, speaking of Burger King and stuff, how how's your diet? Do you do you like really watch? Or are you at that age? Because you're 20 years she's old. She's at that age where it just whatever, bro. I'm just trying and to. And it just goes to the right place. Yeah. Right? And I'm just trying to eat like you know a lot of protein, trying to get big. You know. Gotcha. No, I'm I'm okay. I'm I'm trying, trying to get, get big. big. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, speaking of getting big, the last question that I had on here um, is, what is your opinions on steroids? Um, are you, well, let's ask, are you all natty chicken patty? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you are all natty. Mm-hmm. Um, so, no, when I say all natty, no type of uh, implants or anything. You don't have these butt implants or anything. Oh, my obviously. God. If okay. I have to check my freaking bank account at McDonald's, I do not have implants. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> Like, no. Gotcha, gotcha. And speaking of uh, steroids or performance enhancing drugs or anything like that, I'm not talking about some, like, over-the-counter supplements, but uh, you don't do any kind of, like, uh, weird pills or stuff like that, right? No, to be honest, I don't even know anything about that. Okay. Yeah, me neither, so just stay away from them. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Triceps, he's the most all-natural aesthetic creature in the crew. <laughs> So, uh, what are your opinions? Because obviously, being in the gym and being in fitness, you hear the word steroids and everything like that. Do you have any kind of opinion on them? Do you say, like, if you found out your boyfriend was using steroids or so, would you be like, oh, you're a fucking cheater? Like, why are you doing that? It's unhealthy. It's this or that. Oh, Just oh, because okay. of the health I was factors. Because yeah. oh. cheaters, it's like, even if you're competing, it's not cheating because everyone that competes uses steroids, right? I mean, yeah. is that that's pretty much a known factor. Mm-hmm. Even if you're competing in like a tested affiliation, you're still getting away with some kind of shit. Nobody is all natty chicken patty. No. Well, see, my only issue with this is people who walk around and, you know, claim that they're all your fitness, you know, like yeah. they're so healthy, this, that, whatever. I mean, not even that they're claiming to be healthy, but they're claiming to be fitness, and then you're taking steroids, which completely makes you not healthy, so. Well, yeah, it doesn't make you healthy. I mean, you could still live in the fitness bubble and, like, bodybuilding bubble and take steroids or performance enhancers, but the thing that kills me are the people that put in their bio natural, lifetime natural, 100% drug-free, yeah. blah, blah, blah. It's like, come on, bro. You, there's no way. Exactly. Had um, you, like, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, not that any one of us at the table would ever, ever take anything like that because that is so bad for you. Yeah, I don't... It's not really just generally just a few people that I have it out for who take them... I really don't care about anything else, you know. Oh. You take them if you want, whatever. Is there anybody that you want to name? No. Oh, okay. I can't name. Oh, all right. I, I felt like somebody was on this table. Well, I could, but. <laughs> Damien McCoy. We have another super. I don't want to get you in trouble. Yeah, I know. Damien McCoy's uh, $10 dono. Thank you. Damien. Damien, put your wallet yo, away. Or put your wallet away, away bro. We appreciate you, man. But goddamn. Last question for the night from me. Why did you go with Randy Savage persona instead of Hulk Hogan? Well, the only person that I think can answer that would be Randy Savage. Randy, you want to come on in here? Oh, yeah. Well, let me tell you something. Yeah. I don't think I could do Hulk Hogan as good as I could do the macho man Randy Savage. That's why I went with that. Yeah. Where's Elizabeth? Because I'm going to bend her over and fuck her knees tonight. Yeah. All right. So that's uh, thank you, Randy. Appreciate it, brother. And uh, James Kuroff with a $5 dono says, making my weekly tith to the temple. Glory to God, glory to America, hey, and buddy. glory to the glorious house of gifts. Yes. Thank you so much, James. We appreciate you there, brother. Um, all right, so the only other thing I really could think to bring up for this show, unless any of the bros have anything else, is um, yes, I did join another gym. So I'm no longer at... You have a problem. I do have a problem. Uh, but I do want to give this gym a shout yeah, out because I sure definitely think they deserve it. And let me tell a quick story of how this came about. Daniel, I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm a married man, okay? I think you know that. Yeah. But, however, however, I need to go to a gym that's going to have some sort of scenery. And when I say scenery, 
I need some fucking bitches in the gym. I can't be going to a gym. That's why you don't like Diesel. Well, no. The reason I don't... Listen, I like Diesel. I don't like the people of Diesel that fucking slam the weights one time and then walk around and the fucking duffel bags all over the floor, the powder all over the place. It's like, dude... It's actually a lot better now. Is it? Okay. It it won't be long. Yeah, it won't be for long. I'm like, dude, you look like like walking around like, oh, I just did one of a thousand pounds. Yeah, do it for 15, then impress me, fat fuck. Anyway, um, so... The gyms that are around here are, it's, uh, there are females, but they're not the right type of females. They're, you know, it's, uh, whatever. So I've had to venture out north to Bridgewater <laughs> and even further north. Have you ever seen these North Jersey girls? God damn, they're hot. Um, anyway, a gym even further north. I go to a gym. I just signed up to a gym last night that's 48 minutes from my house. Now, a normal person would say, why the fuck are you going to drive almost two hours a day just to go to the gym. Well, I need a scenery. I need equipment. I need um, just a, a different atmosphere. And I need options. I love, I'm big on options. I know you go to a couple different, I don't know about it anymore, but I know you were going to UFC at one point, right? And then you're working out of D, you're working out of a couple different places. Yeah. So you had options. I love options. Jimmy Triceps went to a gym last uh, Monday, I believe. We're trained with one of our good buddies, Guy Sisternino, IFBB Pro. Danielle, you might know Guy. He's uh, frequented I've Diesel a him, couple yeah. times. Right. So Jimmy trained with Guy, I think it was last Monday, at this gym, Iron Culture, in Cedar Knolls, New Jersey. And I actually think I saw someone in the live stream. I don't know if he's still there, but he brought up the Iron Culture gym. And, um, yeah, so Jimmy texts me the next day, and he goes, bro. You got to fucking see this gym. It's amazing. It's like you would fall in love with it. So long story short, Jimmy and I and Ray Worldwide, we went to this gym last Thursday night. We trained back. Mm -hmm. It was phenomenal. Uh, Atmosphere was great. The music was great. Everybody in there is pretty much jacked. Everybody knows what they're doing. There's there's fucking ass all over the place. It's phenomenal. And uh, so I went there last night and I signed up. So now I go to a new gym. So big shout out to Iron Culture. And everybody there has been super awesome so far. I am getting some dirty looks, though. I did tell Jimmy this. I feel like, I don't know, man. There's probably, in the two times that we've been there, probably 10 or 15 people that have come up to me and said hello, shook my hand, took pictures, and, yo, love this video, that video, talk to me for a little bit. But there's, like, one or two motherfuckers in there that are always going to get that. Mugging, bro. Haters going to hate, bro. Like, always going to get that. Like, they don't appreciate Robert Frank being in their <laughs> gym at all. So, and I felt like that at Diesel as well, at, at certain points. I don't, I don't know if you go there late or not, Danielle, but uh, back when we first joined, you know every gym has, like, their click. Like, yeah. the same people go to the gym at the same time. So everyone bonds together, and then when you get an outsider that comes in, that's new to the gym or a new member or a new crew or something like that, mm-hmm. you're always going to get your motherfuckers that are chirping. Like, oh, look at these oh, motherfuckers yeah. that are trying to come into my gym. And I feel like Diesel is that type of environment, right? Where yeah, it's like, this is my gym, motherfucker. Well, I, get out. I can see where you would get that vibe. I don't really get it, but I can see where you would get it. You gotcha. Know? Just because, like, you're a dude and dudes are like that. Yeah, no, I definitely, and again, maybe I'm overthinking it, maybe it's not that way, maybe people are just, I don't know, maybe it's because everybody had on fucking stringers and uh, weight belts, (laughs) and I was in a fucking hoodie, and they're like, yo, what the fuck is this dude doing working out in a hoodie, but just string around. Yeah, you work out in a hoodie and a scully, bro. Thou shalt not bear arms in the gym. Joey Bags leaves a $2 dono. He says, this was so boring. Bring back Joey Bags. (laughs) I don't like $2 yeah. super check, you broke fuck. Yeah. Damn. Get out of here. You said 50 last time. What you want? All right. I'm, I'm, I'm mad at Joe. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to step his game up. So listen, here's what we'll do right now. We're, we're going to close this thing out. But Daniel, I want to thank you so much for coming on. Uh, this is one of many podcasts that you're going to be doing. One of many interviews that you're going to be doing throughout your career of being a social media um what do, you, what do you want to call her? Is it a, a celebrity or what do you want to say? I don't know the exact term for it, but this is the start. I mean, you're just starting now. You're 20 years old. You're beautiful, great body. You work out. You're in the right field being fitness and, and modeling or whatever you call it. So you're going to do very well. Um, my advice to you is 
get off of Instagram solely and do other things. Get on Facebook, get on Twitter, build everything up at once. Because if somehow next week Instagram closes down, you just lost 100,000 followers and you got to start from ground yeah. zero, right? So do that. And second of all, don't waste any opportunities. Make as many contacts as you can because that is uh, very important to do. Mm-hmm. And um, don't ever forget that when you had like 9,000 followers... Robert Frank had you in a fucking video. So when you got 20 mil, and I'm like... Yeah, that was my peak. Danielle, you know? could, could, I, could I be in your video? Can you give me a shout out or something? Put me on your story, goddammit. Don't, don't forget the little people. That's all I'm saying. Yo, Rob, did we get a $3 super chat from Joshua Navarro asking if Danny can stand up on a chair she's so everyone alive? can see what she's working with? No, I haven't seen Joshua Navarro, man. No, we didn't. <laughs> But I, I, I don't want to put Danny on the spot like that. I mean, if, if you guys, her, her, we have her screen name flashing up on her thing, right? Every time she's on camera. Okay. So, yeah. So, if you guys are watching the playback, you guys can go to Danny Coop's. I tried, guys. I tried. We, you can go to Danny Coop's page, and there's plenty of butt on that. Uh, page. And uh, we appreciate it. So, does anybody have any final thoughts? Or, Danielle, do you have anything you want to say before we wrap it up? I actually kind of wanted to ask this one question. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> What is your opinion, like any, you know, just guys in general, um, on boobs? <laughs> like, is it, is it... Are you thinking about getting boobs, them done? Ass, ass, boobs, ass what boobs, is it? 100%. Ass boobs. Ass boobs. Joey Bags okay. Because, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I got nothing to work with. Here, a lot so, of Caucasian You know, I, I, I wonder if fellows, that's what set. A me lot of like. Caucasian fellows. Don't go there. Like, a, I said a lot. I didn't say Jimmy Triceps, but a lot, lot of Caucasian men like breast, where you like have men who are of um, colored skin tones who like ass. Typically, so it all depends on who you ask. Yeah, I can I can work with that. That is that is a good question, and um, here's my take on it. I, and that's a preference thing. You're going to get 10 people in a room, five people are going to say boobs, five people are going to say yeah. Yeah. So, unfortunately, just like with someone that has no ass to work with, like a pancake butt, mm-hmm. there's really nothing that you could do to make your boobs bigger, right? Yeah. I mean, you could build them and build muscle, but who the fuck wants to, like, you know, put their penis in between, like, two hard <laughs> boobs, right? So... <laughs> That is something that you probably, if you're looking for, if you're looking for the total package, and I know plenty of chicks. I mean, with two our our other two female guests that we had on the show, Marjon and, and Jamie Flowers, they both had their boobs done. Mm-hmm. So I, I ain't knocking it. I ain't mad at it. it is. I, yeah, because I'm not. A, listen, if a woman doesn't have a lot up top, it, it is what it is. That's that's those are the gifts that you were given. Mm-hmm. I don't think that any woman should feel insecure with what they're working with, whether they're too big, too small, you want to get a reduction. But if that's what you were given, that's what you're working with, I mean, you can be confident in that and and, and, and just keep it moving. I don't think that you should feel the pressure of having to to change your body. Are you feeling any kind of pressure? Not that I'm feeling pressure because, I mean, I like to do my own thing. It's just that I've been noticing um, more of like the really big Instagram models, they do have both, you know. Yeah, like, so. It's, it's, yeah, but a, a, a lot of Ray these women have a lot she of these women have she work doesn't. done. But she was posted like I don't know if she paid to get on all those, but she was posted on like World Star like every day or every yeah. week. So yeah. I mean, she's different. But I don't know. I mean, I just continue, feel like a lot of con- them have. Continue them. to keep being you, and do not feel that you have to change you. To keep up with the trends. Right. Mm. But if you do (laughs) want... No, no, no. If you do want to do it, 100% do it. But don't do it because... You feel like you need to or have to. You already have a thing going on. Like, you're Mm. you're doing well. And you're just starting, too. It's not like, you you know, you're... I don't think it's necessary. And for Mm -hmm. most guys, you know, as long as you have one or the other. But, yeah, you're right. And And boobs are maintenance, too. You got to get them redone and... Yeah. You get set on the shelf for a while and healing and, and if you get a bad boob job, that's an ugly yeah. look. That's yeah. a yeah. real ugly look. Make sure, make yeah. sure if you do do it, you do your research and you pay money to get them done right. 
So, uh, yeah. And that's that's pretty much it. You know what? I did want to bring one thing up because I saw it in the uh, in the, the chat. Uh, Shawnee Biceps NJ69 uh, made a comment about the giveaway. Yes, I am doing a giveaway tonight. However, the winners of the giveaway I have saved on my phone that I'm using for the live stream right now. And I did not write the names down. So what I'm going to do is as soon as this podcast is over, I am going to be DMing the three names that won. One is a Visa gift card, $100. The second is a merch drop that's coming in tomorrow. And third is a bottle of ADA load. So the three winners are already picked. And make sure you guys are checking your DMs on Instagram. It is going to come from Robert underscore Frank 615, not Robert Frank. And... uh, I'm going to grab your address and I'm going to ask you which one you want and it's going to go in order. Once the Visa gift card is gone, it's gone. The other two will be remaining and then once one of them goes and blah, blah, blah. So you guys know how that works. But that is it, guys. This has been episode 54 of the Glorious House of Gains podcast. Oh, we do have a super chat that I I missed. I'm sorry. D. Almeida uh, leaves a $5 dono. You broskies into any retro things like games or toys. What nostalgic things would you want to collect? That's a good so, question. question um, to get us on the last part of this podcast. Yeah. Um, I'm really not into... Uh, I don't think I'm into anything nostalgic like that. I mean, you know what I wish I could have, and, and we'll wrap this up. I wish I still had all my fucking Star Wars figures. Like, the original, the New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi when I was a little kid. I wish I still had all those and they were in good condition where I didn't fucking beat them up. Remember we used to play with G.I. Joe's and have Star Wars all of, and he All of the mint shit that if you yeah. would have had today, you'd be uh, tired. I, yeah. I wish I still Easy. had my, um, my Cabbage Patch Kid, man. <laughs> <laughs> cabbage Patch Kid or your Garbage Pail Kid uh, trading cards? Oh, you remember those? Those were the bomb, yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap this up for Jimmy Triceps, for the Pody, for Danny Coops. Make sure you follow her on on Instagram and tell her how great of a job she did tonight. You did a great job, Danny. Thank you so much. And for Ray Worldwide, Jackman with the Permanent Tan, this is Robert Frank signing out.